as the storm moves across the state of Indiana. We've been out talking to people impacted by the storm and checking in with first responders on how they're preparing for all of this weather. Fox 59's Air Graves showing us exactly what the elements look like out there. And you're speaking with the first responders. What's their biggest concern right now? Good afternoon, Beer Shell and Dan. This is exactly what it's like out here right now. Uh, the wind has picked up. We talked to you at 4 o'clock, and the gusts we were seeing at 4 o'clock were not like this. It has certainly strengthened. It's certainly more consistent since we talked to you last. Exactly what Brian was just talking about. Some of this stronger one really coming in. Still uh, more of not a drizzle with the rain, but a light rain that is very pelting, though. It's funny. We're blocking kind of the whole trail here alongside the White River in downtown Indy. Not a lot of people out here using this right now, but as we have talked to uh, some EMAs, we went to the Hamilton County EMA today to check out what they're monitoring right now. Their biggest concerns, not necessarily flooding since we have been so dry lately. The rain we get is probably just going to go into those waterways without a big concern of flooding. Their worry is the trees and the high winds. Because we've been so dry, this is the negative of it. Those trees could be a little bit easier to push out of the ground. And when it gets moist, everything gets heavier. The wind comes and pushes those down. So that is their concern right now. What we're talking about is potentially power lines getting hit, potentially blocking roads. Here's what the Hamilton County EMA Executive Director had to say. The root systems are dry and weaker, so that heavier branches and leaves and the, the heavier trees with the weaker roots, that may, like, makes them more prone to break and fall and those kind of things. And you combine that with hours long sustained winds in the 50 mile an hour range that they're anticipating predicting for us, that can create some hazardous conditions. As we go forward and as things get darker, he's advising folks to stay inside, especially as it gets darker. And if these winds do pick up like they're expected to do, you could take a turn on a dark road and run to a downed tree. If you do see a tree down near a power line, remember to stay away from those. And remember to call the proper authorities so if that tree's blocking the road or it's down a power line, somebody can get there and get that fixed as quickly as possible. We'll talk to you guys in an hour. We're going to be monitoring for any kind of damages throughout the area and we'll keep you updated uh, as we continue this afternoon here on Fox 59 News. Reporting in downtown, I'm Eric Graves.